beautiful day to see the send off of our Commonwealth athletes. Uh, what are your realistic analysis about it and how do you see the Indian contingent performing in uh, Birmingham? Birmingham also being a very India centric. We have just seen the Western match and the whole crowd is uh, India and Indians will be supporting it right from here and in Birmingham as well. Yeah, Birmingham, I guess, uh, uh, only thing is that our shooting event is not there, so there will be a dip in our medal system. But uh, I guess, equally same we are going to get uh, from the other events also. So otherwise the medal, uh, the tally was a little, we were expecting it more higher. Uh, yeah, um, London is always, uh, there are a lot of Indians and the Indian support will be there. So at least I, can, I, I guess they can enjoy the games and they can win a lot of uh, athletes, uh, if we are talking about the keys, what are the uh, uh, specific athletes uh, that you are talking about in the disciplines that you anticipate you would put your money on? Uh, athletic, of course. Um, in previous games, we got maybe maximum two, three, or four medals, but this time we are expecting seven, eight medals. But the real uh, uh, chances are there for thirteen, up to thirteen medals. And uh, hockey is also we are expecting. Uh, then wrestling, boxing, a lot of events. So we are expecting. That's what I told the 60 to 66 medals we are expecting. Uh, you tweeted about uh, uh, Chopra, our, our, our javelin thrower, and that also reminds you that you have also won medal at the World Championship. How is that feeling? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I got medals from Golden Leagues and the Super Grand Prix. Those days the name was uh, Golden Leagues and Super Grand Prix. Now, now it is Diamond League. The name changed. And no, when no one was there from the Indian side, no one ever thought of that competition. I got three, four medals from those competitions. And now Chopra is the next one who is doing uh, in and see now uh, the world championship is very near that's why i told him yeah you got the silver i got i also got the silver from the same competition in way back in uh, 2003 sweden yes sweden 2003 from the same ground so yeah uh, so that's why i treated like that and kerala being the hunting ground for all the athletes uh, in particular uh, Dr. G. Kishore, who runs the Southern SAI uh, in Tiruvannathapuram, that is the champion place. And now PT Usha has also, uh, uh, that her, her center is also producing good champions. And now she is also in uh, Rajya Sabha. That also speaks volume of the government and the policy and the intent. Yeah, the support what we are getting from the ministry or the, from the PM side or the uh, uh, sports authority of India, see everybody is working together now. It's not like uh, each body is working their, their own. Everybody, even we are also supporting government for uh, uh, nurturing kids for Olympics or World Championships or the major championships. So, so the collective effort what we are doing, the result is because of that. Our minister has talked about uh, the Manipur Sports Authority uh, Centre that is coming up with 700 crores of investment. A lot of anticipation is there because in uh, from the uh, northeast side, though all the athletes will go from India to participate in all the sports centres, but from northeast that will be a big hunting ground and, and the athletes that are coming up, they are just stupendous. We have seen the cyclists coming from there. We have seen all other disciplines, boxing certainly, uh, the eastern part of India has become a, a big champion place. Yeah, actually there are a lot of talents there, but uh, that was the untouched area. But now our facilities are uh, like reaching everywhere. So that's how the Manipur is uh, now, uh, they are getting uh, the infrastructure. And see, once the infrastructure is ready, then we can expect a lot of talents from those areas. So I am expecting the same and uh, yeah, we can see the changes. Thank you very much for talking to Vision Television with camera person Uday Negi, Pranaprakar reporting for Vision Television. Thank you. Thank you.